You're listening to episode number 22 of the Fearless English podcast. Welcome to the Fearless English podcast, where it's all about helping you confidently communicate with anyone without compromising who you are. Let's get started, Fearless Learner. Today, I want to talk to you about listening. So listening is something that um, many learners sometimes find very difficult. I've had experience with listening in the classroom and um, students not quite grasping how they can practice listening at home or teachers not really understanding what is listening in the classroom. So there are two things that you need to know. The first thing is we have listening in order to practice listening. So like you actually listen and then there's listening to basically test you um, the way the IELTS and other tests will test you with listening. So the first one is practicing listening. There should not be like a sort of confusion between the two, like the testing and the practicing listening. So let's say that you have a question and you want your student to answer a question or you as a student at home, you're, you've written some questions or there's some questions online that you found and you're doing some listening practice. Now, you might be thinking, I need to listen to the whatever it is I'm listening to once and once I've you know listened to it, if I don't get the answer straight away, then that's it. Like I'm done with my listening. I've got it wrong and that's it. I'm a failure when it comes to listening. It's that's so far away from the truth. What you want to do is make sure that you understand the difference between testing and practicing listening. With testing, yes, you need to like, you're going to get the chance to listen to it maybe once or twice. Um, sometimes it's three times and that's it. And then you have to answer the question. But when you're practicing listening at home, it's a whole different story. What you want to do is make sure that you're listening more than three, four, five times. So let's say there's a question you have to answer. You've answered the question, but you feel like you still don't, un like you haven't quite grasped, you haven't quite like understood or heard the person like saying the answer or you didn't catch what the person said in this situation instead of just sitting there and thinking oh I'm a failure um, you need to be going back and listening again and again and again to the same thing this will not only help you learn to listen practice listening get you better at like listening and it f helps you fine-tune your listening skills and you'll be able to start hearing certain words and certain um you know when it comes to like connected speech words that are like stuck together especially in english when we speak fast we tend to eat our words right so the more you listen the more you take the time to hear what the person is saying the more your ear get gets strained to hear individual words. So what do you need to do the next time you sit down and practice listening is that you need to listen more than once. You need to give yourself a chance to practice listening and understand that testing, you know, testing your listening skills is so different to actually practicing your listening skills. So the next time you are sitting down and you're thinking, okay, I need to practice, you know, listening, getting better at listening, the more you can listen to something, the better for you. So let's say it's a YouTube video, you want to listen more than two, three, four, five, six times until you can hear the individual words, until you can hear the vocabulary um, and actually be able to differentiate and understand what the person is talking about. The more you can do that, the better it is for you, okay? So there's other ways to improve listening. So let's say you've um, you've done that, you've practiced listening. There's some activities you can do, like um, find the transcript, 
maybe you turn on the subtitles and you want to hear what the person actually says after you've practiced listening um, you can turn on the subtitles or you can get a transcript of the, what the person is saying and what this will do is enable you to hear the words so once you've practiced then you want to be able to say okay what did this there's certain points in the conversation I didn't hear what the person said so using transcript and subtitles will enable you to hear the things that you haven't heard and once you do that turn off the transcript and re-listen to the whole thing again and you'll find that you start to hear the words that you couldn't hear before all right I hope that helps. Um, listening is such an amazing thing if you can practice it properly. But I find that many people mistake listening to, practicing listening to, you know, listening um, in a test. So differentiate the two. Do not mix them up. Listen as much as you can. Listen to podcasts more than once. Listen to um, audiobooks, like the different sections again and again. Don't be afraid to do that and you'll see a substantial difference in how you speak and how you, how much better you'll get at listening. Well, I hope this helped. Um, I thoroughly enjoyed recording this for you and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye for now.